If you've been mistreated, or if you feel you've been mistreated on the job because of your race, or because you're a woman or a man when, when others are being treated differently, or because maybe you came from a different country, or maybe because of your age, or because you are handicapped in some way, uh, then that leads to a potential uh, employment case against the employer. And if you report something like that going on, discrimination based on race, color, sex, creed, national origin, et cetera, uh, and then your employer retaliates against you, that is a basis for a claim. Uh, now, Mike, one of the things that I'm going to ask you about now is um, what does a person do when they feel like the employer has mistreated them on the, for one of the reasons that we just talked about? What, what can they do? I think the most important thing that you can do to begin with is to consult your own policies and procedures manual. Most employers issue a policies and procedures manual and in the manual they'll describe to you the things that you have in the way of remedies under the manual. And I think you should do those things. Uh, mm -hmm. Most of the time those things are set up with either somebody who is a professional human resources person or somebody uh, who is a third party. Uh, that is contracting and you can just call that person. There's mm -hmm. a number in there, it's a uh, toll-free number and you can call that number and, and uh, make your complaint. On the other hand, if you've done all those things and something continues to happen to you or you believe that you're being retaliated against even for doing that, you should then consult an attorney. Um, it is not an easy thing to get through without talking to an attorney and finding out what your rights are and whether or not this qualifies as some sort of protection that you might seek through the courts.